Lack of adequate classrooms for the Ghana National College in the central region has created congestion in classrooms. Now, Lucy Ayambela reports that the situation has made teaching and learning difficult. The Ghana National College in Cape Coast was established in 1948 during an agitation for self-government in the then Gold Coast. With a population of close to 2,800, the facility is now unable to accommodate the large numbers. Whilst some classes are taking 70 students, others are accommodating 89 to 90 students. The school is compelled to hold all gatherings in the open due to the lack of an assembly hall. Activities are sometimes distracted by rain. The school's 68th speech and prize-giving day program, for instance, was affected by a downpour. The old assembly hall has been converted into a girls' dormitory. Students run shifts during dining hours because the dining hall cannot accommodate all their students. This block, which was being converted into a girls' dormitory by Get Fund, has been left uncompleted due to lack of funds. Water situation in the school is also a nightmare. Juliana Wusuansa is the headmistress of the school. When the lights go off, we cannot pump the water. On occasions, you find lots of students down there in the valley, washing and some taking their bath and taking, I mean, fetching water to climb up the hill. School authorities say they spend 500 cities a day to pump water from the valley to the hill.